I'm not sure why this game gets so much hate. I honestly really like this game. It's fun and addictive. It's, yeah, but it can get repetitive over time, but it's honestly a really good game. This game is anticipation, and I'm going to review it. Anticipation is a video game for the Nintendo Entertainment System, developed by Rare and published by Nintendo. It was released in 1988. It was playable as a single player game with computer controlled players or multiplayer up to support with four players. The gameplay is very similar to that of a board game such as Pictionary. The player is represented by one of four pieces, a pair of high heel shoes, a horn, ice cream, or even a teddy bear. As the game slowly draws a picture, the first person to buzz in and guess the correct answer moves forward on the game board. The number of spaces of a player moves depends on a, upon the number of dice, which counts down from 6 as the picture is drawn. Once a player correctly identifies the drawing of each player of 4 categories and level, the player rises to the next higher game board level. The first player to complete every level wins the game. There are three levels on easy and medium difficult settings, and four on hard and very hard settings. From the third level on, the board includes gray featured squares. Landing on one of these causes a player token to fly around the board until a button is pressed. A puzzle is then played in the color that is hit. The fourth level has the same layout as the third, but with several gaps where spaces have been removed. Landing on a gap causes a player to fall back down on the corresponding position on the third level but he or she retains credit for any solved fourth puzzle and must answer the remaining categories to climb back up. Four different categories are used in each game board level. Tied to the colors of spaces blue, green, pink, and yellow, a controller with a turbo button such as NES Advantage can be used as a land token repeatedly on the same feature square and force a puzzle to be played from a random category. These puzzles, which have a gray background, cannot count towards a player's requirement to solve a puzzle in every category. A category for the pictures are science, math, food, leisure, clothing, office, man-made, alphabet, miscellaneous, tools, and natural. This game is fun and great to play with friends and family. Luckily, this game is super cheap. I got my copy for only $2, and a loose copy retails right now on eBay for about $5, and getting a complete copy is going up to around $8 to $9. I recommend getting this game for any type of player. It's fun and addictive. Until then, this has been my review. Thanks for watching.